Hello and welcome to the Beauty Saga. I'm Parisa Saga and I am so glad you decided to click on this video. For today's video I thought it would be really fun to do an unboxing. I think the last unboxing I actually did on my channel was the Wet n Wild Unicorn Collection. Slow has been a hot minute. So I ordered a jumbo box of goodies from the Shop Hush app and I thought it would be fun to do an unboxing and just kind of have some first reactions and first impressions with you guys and just talk about the palettes. I was kind of bad and I already opened it because I wanted to use one of the palettes on my eyes today so I peeked. I'm sorry. but. I didn't open everything, so we're gonna have a good time. Mama bought too much, just like Mama always does. <laughs> um, but the first thing I want to talk about is actually how they packaged everything. I mean, it's like bubble wrap for days in here. Everything came like so securely. I was so surprised. If you are not familiar with Shop Hush, don't feel bad, neither was I until about uh, two weeks ago. It's an app, I just downloaded it from the Google Play Store, it's called Shop Hush. It's got like a pink logo. I just downloaded it and then ordered goodies. And there's tons of stuff, they got like the Ordinary Skincare, which I also ordered a crap ton of, and they've got all this makeup and... It's cool, but it's dangerous, <laughs> so be careful if you download it, you've been warned. So yeah, just like so much bubble wrap. Everything is like so secure in this box. Like the palettes come and they're in like individual bubble wrap sleeves, like nothing's gonna break. It's amazing. So I'm gonna start out by talking about the palette that I could not wait and open with you guys. I had to open it and use it on my eyes today, and it's what I am wearing. This is the Bad Habit Athena palette and as you can see the packaging on this palette is absolutely gorgeous. This is like raised gold and then it's like fades from the purple to the pink. It's like a really nice like sturdy cardboard packaging. It feels like the BH Cosmetics blacklight highlighting palette. Like it's pretty nice. This one is $16 on the app and you are getting 18 grams of product in here and there's 18 shadows so you're getting a gram per eyeshadow which is pretty dang nice. It has a full size mirror up here and this gorgeous palette is clearly duping the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I have Valor and Heroic in my crease. I have Heroic, Justice, and Clever in the outer V. And then I have Epic on my innermost corner. And I put Prize in the middle to kind of blend the two. And I am absolutely obsessed with this palette. These mattes are a little soft. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan. Not a big deal. They are very pigmented and they blend so nicely. I had absolutely no issues and the shimmers I used were so blinding. I did not even need to use them with setting spray. They were just like blinding dry. It's, I mean, just look at some of the swatches from this palette. I mean, amazingly reflective, pigmented, everything. I don't have the Huda Beauty palette to do a comparison to, but just like looking at this palette on its own, I absolutely love the way it performs and I'm really pleased with it. Okay, so the next palette I got is the Aphrodite palette from Bad Habit. This one is like the sister palette to Athena. It's the exact same price, exact same amount of product, exact same packaging, except this one is all black with the gold. Hello, Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette dupe. Again, I don't have the Huda, ooh, that matte is soft. I don't have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette to like compare this to, but this one already feels exactly like the Athena palette. These are just gorgeous shadows. I am so excited for this one. That pink and red matte, oh, 
I'm gonna overuse those two. Metallics look crazy reflective and they feel exactly the same as the Athena. Let's also dip into Heartbreak, which is the black. And I really want to check Passion, which is like a taupey gray color. Ooh, this black is insane. Look at that. That's a pigmented black. That gray is super beautiful. It's more taupe. It swatches more taupe than it looks in the pan. I cannot wait. Okay, the next palette is by Bad Habit again. This is called Retro Love. I love this packaging, this blue. They have really cute packaging. Sometimes when you get like a more affordable version of a high-end palette, it kind of like looks not cute, but these, they've done a really good job at like keeping this packaging amazing. So this one is $12 on the app and you're getting 13.9 grams of product. Again, it's like a nice sturdy cardboard packaging and you are getting a mirror. And of course, what does this make you think of? Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture? I actually own subculture. I have a really cute tutorial I did with it a little bit ago. But of course, I don't actually have it here with me right now. My friend is borrowing it. So, these mats, they feel amazing in here. Like, honestly, better than subcultures. Wow, these mats are like soft and pigmented. I bet the blue shade won't oxidize down with this one too. Oh wow, that yellow is like banging. Let's check out some of the shimmers, shall we? Ooh, they feel really soft. Oh, those are lovely. Oh, oh wow. These swatches are so beautiful. I honestly think these like shimmer shades are more pigmented than the subculture ones. I struggled with the metallics in that palette, getting them like to be as intense as I wanted. These already seem like so much more intense. Like the mattes are pigmented. I absolutely love this color scheme. Subculture was a very difficult palette to work with and I feel like this palette is not gonna be so difficult. Let me know if you guys actually wanna see me compare this to Subculture. I will get that palette back from a friend and then I can, I can do an entire like dedicated comparison video if you guys are interested but I honestly think I'm gonna like this better than Subculture. I think I'm gonna regret buying Subculture because I think this one's gonna perform better just from feeling it. Okay, so this next palette is called the Artistry Palette, also by Bad Habit. It has like a really like interesting feeling, like matte black and then the gold spackling and then Artistry is glossy. This one might be my favorite packaging. It's just so like sleek and classic and I just really like it. This one is also $12 on the app. You're getting 11.9 grams in this one. Same like cardboard feeling packaging. You got a mirror again. And hello Anastasia Beverly Hills Makeup by Mario palette. This is so exciting because the Makeup by Mario palette is no longer available and I wanted it so bad and I just did not have the money for it and so when I saw they had a dupe for it I like, <sighs> I died. These shades are so beautiful. The Anastasia palette was gorgeous. I wanted it so bad and now I get to play with it. So let's see how this one is. <gasps> Ooh. Soft. Look at that. These are like soft and really pigmented. Wow. These are impressive. These are amazing. Like look at Siren. <gasps> that cobalt blue. I want to make a smoky eye with it basically right now. I'm ecstatic about this. I feel like I should... <laughs> Since everything is going so well, I feel like I should mention that I bought all of these palettes with my own money. I buy every product on my channel that goes on my face. I don't get PR. I'm a little baby channel. 
I don't get PR and I buy everything with my own money and I would never say that something is better than it is. I firmly believe that honesty is always the best policy. I'm just honestly really happy with these. I don't want anyone to think I'm being like fake or being paid or some crap. This is the Bad Habit Inferno palette. This one has, again, really gorgeous, like, sleek, fun packaging. It goes from yellow to red. It's, like, um, textured, and it says the Bad Habit Inferno. I believe, again, this palette was $12. You are getting 11.9 grams of product. Same sturdy, nice cardboard. You are getting a mirror in here. Again, is such a gorgeous dupe for the Naked Heat palette. I really wanted Naked Heat. I just couldn't rationalize spending $54 on a palette. Especially with like these kind of warm tones. I already own so many of them. So I just, I never bought Heat. It's something that I swatch every single time I walk by it. I want it so bad, but I never bought it. Again, very consistent, you know. These are amazingly soft and smooth metallics, like, in love. Let's check out these mattes, because this palette has a lot of mattes. Ooh, hot spot, you are soft. Okay, I kind of swatched these like a crackhead, but look at those metallics. <gasps> Whoa. The mattes look gorgeous, too. I mean, this is going to be like an everyday, easy makeup sort of palette but of course it does have some darker shades like smolder and burn so you can like take this deep and smoky it's got a nice like brow bone shade some great transitions like this is a really nice like everyday palette okay so this next one is bad habits aura palette i absolutely love this packaging the matte peach to purple fade gorgeous again i think this palette was 12 dollars, and you're getting the well it says 99 grams but that's obviously not right <laughs> i imagine it's again 11.9 it feels like that same cardboard packaging same mirror you know the drill by now this is like such a good prism palette dupe like it's those shades are like looking spot on okay i'm not gonna lie energy is like the shade i'm the most excited about the yellow um it's not as soft as all the other mattes have been, and it's not as pigmented, which is really disappointing because it's like one of the more exciting shades. That sucks. Let me try some of the other mattes in here. Ooh, yeah, like haze is so soft. Mauvey, delicious, goodness. Yup. Let's see how like mystique is. Beautiful. Orange. Oh, yes. That's what I want from the yellow is that same like yes factor, but the teal shade. She ain't playing. Let's try ethereal. Okay, the shimmers are amazing in this palette. So good. See, you can tell like the yellow was just not as like pigmented as the other mattes. You can like tell even in the swatch. So I'll have to see how that one does on the eyes, but like look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous shimmers. Uh, my camera cut me off, so hopefully I finished my thought. <laughs> I was saying about Aura that it sucks that the yellow shade is kind of crummy, because that's the one I was the most excited for. But I'm still glad I picked this up. There's like gorgeous mauve shades and that like emerald sort of teal metallic color. <sighs> St. Patrick's Day, what? So that's what I was saying before my camera so rudely stopped recording. I'm opening these with a tweezers because <laughs> I have my, my nails on. So this baby is also by Bad Habit. I just realized that everything I got was from Bad Habit. I did a one brand haul. I didn't even realize it. They make all the dupe palettes and I really want to dupe palettes because I want like high end, but I don't want to pay for it. Love this packaging. It's just like, I don't know. Like I feel like outer spacey or something. Oh, supernova. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to feel outer spacey. God, I'm dumb. Um, so this one I got in a bundle. 
with the next palette. So I got both of these together for $24. I think normally this one is $16. I got it for $12 because I got it in the bundle. So the bundle. 14.85 grams. Dang. These palettes have like a generous amount of product too. And they all have mirrors. I just realized they all have mirrors. I probably didn't need to announce it individually. <laughs> they all have mirrors. Hello, Natasha Denona Lila palette dupe. I don't own anything from Natasha Denona. I've never even touched a Natasha Denona shadow. I just don't want to do it to myself. I don't even want to feel what a $160 palette feels like. <laughs> I just don't even want to know. I think this palette is gorgeous. I think the Natasha Denona Lila palette is gorgeous. This has, um, it looks like only three matte formats. One, two, three. Four mattes, a huge amount of shimmer, which kind of is surprising to me. Interesting choice, Natasha Denona. Interesting choice. Okay, let's see how these shimmers are. Soft. <laughs> Pigmented? Holy garbage. Ooh, that one has like a really pretty lavender, like pearl. <gasps> wow. Oh, I want to touch this one. This one looks cool. Aura. Huh. Hello, my purple taupe dreams. Oh. Wow. So as you can see, this palette actually has the potential to be very cool toned, which is super cool. Those metallics are gorgeous. I really like the mattes too. There's only four of them though. Keep that in mind. And the final palette of my mega haul is the Solstice. Bad Habit Solstice palette. I like this packaging. I like, it just feels like fire. I like it. These palettes have nice mirrors, man. Those are big and usable and traveling friendly. And then the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette dupe. So this is an extreme warm tone palette. You've even got like straight up orange, red, yellow, like this peach. This one looks like a better mix of shimmers and mattes. You've got some deep shades, some lighter shades, transition shades. This is a nice palette. I like the color setup. Anything where I can do complete looks, I'm like, yes. So I of course gotta touch the yellow in here. That one's awesome. Should you read the red too? Oof. I need to use red eyeshadow more. This is like gorgeous. Wow. These are gorgeous. So Bad Habit across the board seems to be pretty flippin' good. I'm really impressed with the quality of these shadows. Overall, I think these palettes are great and I definitely think they're worth the money if you've been thinking about any of them or you've been interested snag them they hot I hope you enjoyed this unboxing if you have any questions or comments that I did not cover in this video please leave them down below for me and I will get back to you you can check out the beauty saga on social media I have a Facebook page Twitter Instagram and snapchat and yes I am still snapping one of the one of the few left on the barren landscape. It's at The Beauty Saga for all social media. I would just love for you guys to come hang out with me there. I really hope you subscribe. I hope I'm gonna see you on my next video. And until then, bye.